And now to our other top story today. Hundreds of mourners came out to pay their respects to Helen Chavez, the wife of UFW leader Cesar Chavez. From activists to actors, 23ABC's Laura Acevedo says it was clear Helen Chavez made an important impact. Jessica, hundreds came out for the funeral and burial services of Helen Chavez, the woman who stood alongside her husband, Cesar Chavez, during their fight for farm workers' rights. With the sounds of Mexican mariachi, hundreds said goodbye to Helen Chavez, the wife of activist Cesar Chavez. The family hosted the funeral mass in Tehachapi, led by Cardinal Roger Mahoney. Guests included actor Edward James Olmos, Dolores Huerta, and Carrie Kennedy, son of Robert Kennedy. To see them to come out and pay their respects is really heartwarming. It, uh, it gives us a lot of strength as a, as a family. Three of her sons, Fernando, Paul, and Anthony, spoke during the mass, saying their mom always pushed their father to continue fighting for farm workers' rights, encouraging him to never give up. Well, her and my dad made a decision to, to give up the most comfortable life they ever had, and they moved back to Delano, uh, knowing that, that my mother was going to work in the fields to help my father start the union. After the mass, Chavez's body was taken to Cesar Chavez's National Monument in Keene for a burial ceremony where her children and the public were able to pay their last respects. She was a quiet but a strong and fierce leader. It gave us all the courage and the inspiration to do what we do. The Chavez family now plans on keeping the legacy alive with a letter Helen wrote in 1994 for the family to read after her passing. She kind of laid down the law, let us know exactly what was expected, told the grandkids how to act, what to do, what to stay away from. With the Chavez last name, we want to fulfill what she always wanted us to do and give back and be caring and selfless. Her body now rests next to her husband at the National Monument where he was buried 23 years ago. Reporting in Keene, Laura Acevedo, 23 ABC News.